Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Koi Chemo Episode 2. I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website and I'll be starting my reaction in 1 0 go. Alright. Pumped up for this. And also, I'm pumped to see what the hilarious stuff he's gonna get himself involved with this week. Seems relatively normal for. Oh! This. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty sure that's probably gonna make his week. Probably his month. <laughs> oh, man. I was semi thinking that, alright, it's gonna probably take a while for it to start wild. Didn't think it'd start that well this quickly, though. Hey. Not that I mind that one bit, though. Well, in the opening does have mostly happy vibes. I'd say that portion where he's looking at this phone definitely implies that things aren't going to be as happy looking as they seem, though. <laughs> As of how gets, she gets stuck with all them flowers during the opening. It's pretty damn freaking adorable in its own way. So we can you watch time. Now, it's definitely one of the openings I can just jam to. Hmm. Should I have to look up all the details to the opening once I get the chance? That was like the opening I could probably listen to a good amount of times. Nomad. I'm gonna assume that's the animation studio that did the visuals for this series. He smelled like cologne. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Sounds like a man is about to nosebleed right now. Okay, now I think now he's imagining her having that smile. Whoa! And before he does anything involving me, I'm very just Mary. Oh. How do I all seem like cool friends? Huh. It's probably thinking deep down that it's glad things that aren't out the way they wanted. No, <laughs> oh, this is <freaking> adorable. <laughs> the only thing you would need it to complete the whole smooth criminal look is just get some of them clothing that MJ has in the smooth criminal song and it'd be absolutely perfect. <laughs> Just the way he does this, there's only so much <laughs> song as I can take. Uh, they only knew his, um, got a little bit of snobbishness within him, but... I don't know if I believe her. Rio is a liar. She's probably gonna be like him. Oh, yeah. At least I didn't ask for more clarification because then our girl would have been in a pretty heavy spot. He actually would probably look in it great in anything. Shit, I wouldn't even be surprised if he looks. Damn, them women have some amazing taste. They're women of culture. I love how that's the thing he instantly puts on. 
But the thing that we all have to take in consideration, though, he puts that on. He's going to... Well, our girl's going to notice that he was eavesdropping and that only creeper the fuck out even more. Damn. It's actually pretty shocking. Jeez. That actually puts into context why Rio wants to actually hook up her brother with someone that she that she really knows. Okay, that that actually puts things into a lot of perspective now. Oh, I like it. It recontextualizes episode one because, for a second, ah oh, hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just love how those are all the most pressing questions in this world right now with the way he's saying that. <laughs> he does. It probably is exactly why. Hi, ah, Ichika. Oh, it's pretty damn considerate there. I wonder why. Is it because that's a specially made... Oh, it's going to probably be a flower. They actually are kind of cute. Aww. Or else it could be something else entirely. It might be a flower, though. I could be wrong. Oh. Oh! <laughs> she makes she's like a like a doggo or something or an echo. <laughs> Just the cold keep in line the whole animal theme thing. All right, good. I like how she puts a cap on her bro's excitement. Whoa! Just the way he says it out loud. Alright, good, good, good. At least... Oh! I like that! Shows you some uh, real character development. Showing that... She actually would like to see Ichika and Ryo together, but if Ryo does anything to f fuck it all up, then... She would actually... Well, for in the figure to stand at sand. I love that. So, see how much our girl's looking out for each other. That's actually really cute there. Hmm. Yeah, that actually sounds less like a chicken, more like a... Oh! Oh, boy. Whoa! Oh, sure. <laughs> I mean, hey, reality was going to catch up with them eventually. Mm. 
I like how he has to call the bartender boss. <laughs> oh man, that means a man is prepared for every single scenario. That's actually pretty impressive. Oh, that's a very dramatic much, Sully. <laughs> oh, man, but I love it. Oh. The way he's like, Come on! Sounds like a, like when he said go, it sounded like a woman who just orgasmed in an H and in there. <laughs> Whoa. Well, it's too late for Rio to take that back, though. Hey, he probably is a masochist at a deep down. Oh, hit the hell nail on the coffin there. But there's more to it than just that, though. <laughs> okay, the British is fucking adorable. <laughs> Does this man have? Jeez. Hey, I just hope uh, Rio can take on all that alcohol tonight. Okay, that's pretty cute. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's going a bit too far. I could see why he would actually frown there. I like how the brown face is on. You're a Special piece of work. That's the face he's making. <laughs> I like how the bartender is getting excited now, too. And I like how she the contrast. He went from being indifferent to now being super excited, too, alongside them boys. She's not gonna answer. She knows who it's from. That's... Whoa! <laughs> uh, I don't think calling at 1.30 a.m. is... I don't think calling at 1.30 a.m. is going to endear anyone to anyone else, though. <laughs> Should have definitely called at a different hour. Aw, oh, Ryan starts to get pretty adorable in their own ways. Hmm. Damn. Uh, I think yeah, I think these two boys are pushing it. Okay, now I just want to be smacked straight up. Oh boy. 
trying to kill. <laughs> oh. Ah, the way the girl's blood just fucking that. Oh man, that warms me up. Okay, how many photos is this man taking? Hey though, can't blame him for shooting this shot. Masa does a cool name, I ain't gonna lie. Oh boy. Well, to try to make a long story short, you could just say that. Oh. <laughs> he probably enjoys it that way, though. Of course, be into that kind of shit. <laughs> Oh, it has been two years. <laughs> Every day, it's somewhat close. But also far simultaneously, too. thought the phone was starting, but damn, looks like it's already going to begin. Just by the way Rio's talking, he looks like he's about to live of the dream in his reality right now. I like how it's exactly three meters. And I love how they emphasize his feet, showing us how much he's taking this seriously, where he's pacing his own feet prof professionally, too. If only she knew. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you should eat all that. It doesn't look like it's healthy towards his health. Knowing him, he'd probably want to use that to stall that Ichigo's going to be involved with. Just to do her a solid. Knowing this man, or he might even give the vouchers to Ichika, knowing him. Damn, I was hoping he'd be able to get the center. You know what to say, though, we get his luck. You never know, she might actually be able to pull out something. <laughs> well, he's a natural. <laughs> this is fucking adorable. I mean, hey, as long as it hits the center, that's all that matters. Plus, it makes a pleasant experience in the memories. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, as long as it's in the eye, it's all good. Or nose. Or teeth. So it could have been worse. Oh, shit. And this time it's gonna be his turn. Oh, her boy! Oh. Yeah, fuck, it scared me. Thankfully, though, we all knew he was gonna show up at the exact time, though. Considering the fact that he was close up. Oh yeah, that actually would have been a pretty awkward spot. He probably enjoyed it deep down. Yeah! Darn stomach! <laughs> Yeah, as long as there's no stirs though, it should be fine. I just wonder if there's gonna be any type of twist though. Or maybe not. Yeah, because the shade ain't seeming a bit more dimmer than usual, so... Who knows, we might actually get some intense drama pretty soon. Oh, or maybe she's actually... subtly falling in love with Rio too there! Could, that could be it. Oh, you know shit's real when you don't have the ED plane. <laughs> yes! Alright, I love where this is going. Damn! I wanted I want more, damn it! <laughs> but no, you know what? Fantastic episode. I'm definitely gonna give this one. If I were just straight up rating on a scale of one to ten, with one being abysmal, five being average, and ten being exceptional. I am most definitely gonna give this one. A high tier 8.5 out of 10. I absolutely adored it because, for one, something that I really love about this episode, from a narrative standpoint, is there actually was a nice bit of plot progression here because we got to get introduced to Ichigo's friends like Rui and Satsugi. We got to also see in this episode, we got to see. Uh, we only hang out with Ichiga and some other friends on more. That's a nice thing. I'm not teasing you. Cute little title there. And on top of that, I felt it made a good amount of plot progression because in this specific episode, something that I really enjoyed about it, I just enjoyed the fact that this episode, there was a lot of heart to it because it was nice to see our boy return the favor of being saved in the previous episode. I thought there was something really sweet and endearing about that. And that's why I thought this episode was a cut above the great episode one. And something else that I also really dug about this episode, I just thought the fact that we get to see just the power between Rio and Rio's bond, actually seeing how Things weren't super swell when they were younger, and it recontextualizes, at least in a subtle nuanced way, why the sister Rio would want Rio to actually get together with Ichigo because, I mean, she has a lot of love with the brother naturally, and naturally she'd want to see him happy, but then when it's recontextualized, well, because when we see in the argument between, say, 
Rodiello's father and Rio himself, when it comes to like the argument being over like ladies, it's like, okay, that also makes sense too. When it comes to like the type of company that our main boy was spending time with in the past, that also puts a lot of things into perspective. And that's why I was a big fan of what the episode did overall. And then aside from that, I do like some of the character development for Ichigo, where she's starting to realize some of the finer qualities of of Ryo simultaneously. It's going to make the next few uh, character interactions between Ryo and Ichigo much more interesting to watch, and it actually builds up much more chemistry between our two main leads, well, more chemistry than they already had. And that's why I absolutely adored Pretty much almost everything the episode did because it felt like every moment it had was just monumentous. The visual quality was actually, it got the job done while it wasn't like the most extravagant looking production I've ever seen. It didn't need it because the dialogue more than made up for it. Artwork was on model though, I'll give credit for that. And at least the sound in the episode 2 was better. I actually really dig it. I was like, alright, it's getting better. And yeah. These are my thoughts on episode 2, y'all. So anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts and how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the bit, share it, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all if you come back for more because I'm definitely going to be reacting to episode 3. And I recommend y'all subscribe if you do not want to miss my reaction to episode 3.